Let's go to Comsec for a look at the markets today. Craig James joins us. Uh, how do we look today, Craig? Looking a little bit better than what it was yesterday. The share price index on the futures exchange, the SPY, is uh, pointing to a gain of our market of 47 points or around about 7 tenths of 1%. We're seeing gains across the United States around about 10 or 15 minutes of trade to go in the United States. The Dow Jones up 350 points or 1.1%. The broader market is up by around about 7 tenths of 1% and the Nasdaq up by 3 tenths of 1%. We had gains also in Europe, European market up 1.1%. UK market up 0.9 percent. Now helping our market will be the um, higher oil price. Brent and IMAX up by almost 1.4 percent. So that's encouraging for the energy uh, sector. The gold price up by $9.30 an ounce. So another boost for, for the gold sector. Uh, but the iron ore price down by 1.3 percent overnight. So that's going to weigh a little bit on those um, iron ore stocks. Uh, we've got um, US 10-year yields and two-year yields up nine basis points. That's the reason why the NASDAQ has underperformed the other major indices in the United States. Uh, in terms of news, Amazon shares down by 1.6%, looking to cut another 9,000 uh, jobs. And shares of First Republic down the order of 48%. So the regional bank has still got a few questions to, to be answered. The Aussie dollar, 67.15 US cents. Looking ahead today, we've got weekly consumer confidence and also the minutes of the last Reserve Bank board meeting.